Hello, everybody. My name is Hui, and I'm a high school student at LCS. Today, I will bring to this TED Talk a thing that is maybe one of the best friends of your life. It is a super cute teddy bear that you were given by your parents in your early life. Or it is a map solving software that saves your life where you only have just 15 minutes before your teachers come to you and say, Where's your homework? Well, the answers may freak you out. It's art. It's like kind of weird, right? So when we think about art, we immediately think about some super abstract paintings that are covered with golden frames in super gorgeous museums like the Metropolitan New York or the Love in Paris. But here's the thing. Art is much closer to us than we thought. It has been even one of the best friends that we have in our life journey. So before the talk, let's talk about the definition of art. Art is the way that we share our thoughts, emotion, intuition, and desire. That means it can be expressed in many ways, like smell, see, hear, or even taste. This feature of art allows us to express the ideas that cannot be expressed through words alone. Our way way with artists has said, life is art. Art is life. I never said it. Art can be a tree that we see on the way we go to school, a poem that our teachers speak to us, a milkshake that we drink at lunch, or even a song that we hear when we come back, to, come back home. So some of you will say, well, pretty cool. So when did art enter our life? To these questions, I would say that art has appeared in our life since we first have connection to the outside world. Let's take my life stories as an example. I was born in Ho Chi Minh City on a very beautiful sunny day. My dad is a doctor, and my mom at that time was studying law in universities. So when I was one to five years old, my parents were super busy. So I had chances to do some super cool things like observing a book that is on the trees for three hours, or waiting until midnight to watch one on one way to landings like Spider-Man to be my guy. So when I was older, I also build Legos, real Legos. So as you know, the very basic way to play with Legos is to follow the instruction inside a box to guide us on how to build something that looks like the outside of the box. And to seven years old me, here are my steps to play with a brand new Lego box. Number one, open the box carefully. Number two, throw away the instructions. <laughs> Number three, play something, build something that crazy pops up in my mind. Number four, kill it with fire. Number five, ask my mom where the instructions are. With these steps, I have used the Lego bricks to express my ideas about the world that surrounds me. And sometimes it did not quite follow the way that I thought it should be. Time, then time flew by. I went to middle school and I would support coming to classes and hearing lessons from the teachers, especially Miss Lin. So I had an idea. I stuck the pen and the ruler right away. And I imagine this world plan flying over the sky. And the result was that my mind just came up my body. And I was becoming a pilot somewhere in my mind. Then, tôi mời em Nguyễn Trần Gia Huy lên bãi kiểm tra bài cũ. Which means I invite you to come up the board and get an examined. Miss Lynn has brought me back to reality by her echo voice. So it is super strange to say these stories. Maybe you notice, art has entered our early life in a silent, natural way. Art can be your favorite superheroes, your Lego buildings, 
or even just a ruler and a pen. It can be defined as an art if you can express your ideas through it. And somehow, Miss Lynn Echo Voice is an art to me. I still remember her voice, actually. <laughs> so we have got what Dr. Guy Lindsay, who is a lecturer at Early Childhood Education, has said. For children, art is a way to communicate their ideas. Indeed, art have our early versions perceiving the outside world. It introduced our souls to the beautiful world that humans and the natural world prepare for thousands of years for us to come and see. Also, art established emotions for our early life so that we can smile when we see a beautiful painting. Be excited when smelling a delicious food or cry when we hear, when we hear a sad song. So we have gone through our journey with art in our early life. So how about our present life so far? Well, we have known that art allows us to express our ideas without saying a single word. So super scary is like you can communicate with others by telepathy. But just let me ask you a couple of questions. When you listen to a depressed song, have you ever felt that you are a person in that song? Or when you watch a cool movie on Netflix, have you ever, ever imagined that you are a main character in that movie? When we enjoy our favorite songs or movie, we unconsciously let our souls connect to the author and let, our, and let the author connect to our souls, the ideas that our souls want to see or to hear. <clears throat> Aristotle once says, the aim of art is not to represent the outward appearance of things, but the inward significance. Art connects us to others by finding the same way that we look at the world. It can be the same ideologies that suddenly met with each other. There is surprisingly a way for us to grow empathy for others and a huge step to make our world a better place to live. Much closer, art can be a tool that we can use to express our ideas and intentions more effectively. For example, we can use art to create a music video for our friend's birthday, or a poem to confess our love for our relatives. In fact, we have been using art to do these things all the time, right? So after all, the benefit that art gives to our souls. What is the thing that we learn about it? Does it make you become a superhero who can rewrite reality? Or does it connect you to connect Toby Mark's mind to ask him where else he can shoot by the seals beside his hand? Well, the answer is much more simple. It's even in a single word, humanity. Art is not only about creating beautiful paintings. It's also, also the way that we look at the world. Without it, we can connect to others just the way we want. And more importantly, our souls and emotions can func function clearly. So the next time, when you go outside your home, let's take a look at the sky, our beautiful landscape right in front of you and let your soul connect to the world freely. That is the moment art, your very best friend, is talking to you about this beautiful world. Thank you.